Long before the railway and the telegraph came to the Ivora Peninsula, there was an old stone cottage deep in the mountains, right at the foot of Nooknatubber. To say no one lived there would be a lie, because several some things that were not quite human had claimed the cottage as their own. One day a man came and started messing around with roofs, doors and windows without ever asking them that lived there if they'd mind. What's more, he started inviting guests to come and stay. The current residents, they were very confused. Susie and Lee were also pretty confused. There were beaches. We don't swim at them. There was football. But it wasn't football. There was plenty of hot water. It just came from a separate tap. Still, they liked it here. They were not about to leave. They got to know the townsfolk on their daily walks. They greeted the sheep every morning. But little did they know there were other neighbours nearby, watching. These neighbours were naturally wary of strangers, especially when strangers say things like this. Who thought it was a good idea to name things fairy? It's so, it's so dumb, really. The neighbours were not pleased. That evening they held a meeting where they decided Something must be done. Susie and Lee liked the cottage okay, even though it had some oddities. Lee, did you drink all the milk? Susie, have you seen my other sock? Oh, there's another one! The slugs were happy to help. Susie and Lee began to realise they were out of their depth. Conditions are deteriorating. You don't have a raincoat yet. That evening, Susie and Lee held a meeting where they decided something must be done. I think we should buy raincoats, don't we? Yeah, right? We just came from Spelling Michaels. Um, nothing makes me happier than just delivery. Wow, raincoats. I'm so happy. But the neighbours were just getting started. They ruined the firewood. The firewood that we bought is wet. So it doesn't burn. They punctured the tires. We just got a flat tire. They tried everything they could think of to inconvenience Susie and Lee. We regret that we have a major fault in the general area of Kersavine Town. What did they say? Uh, they said that there's a fault in the area of Glenby and Kersavine, which is us, and they expect to restore right now at 7:10 by 8:15, so in an hour. Hopefully, the electricity will come back on. And still, they did not leave. On the contrary, they settled in for the season with a good book and a glass of wine. Hmm. Airy forts. Next day dawned bright and sunny. Lee found her sock. The fire was crackling. And the neighbours decided if Susie and Lee shared their sweets, 
then they would share the old stone cottage deep in the mountains, right at the foot of Nook Natubber. Susie and Lee would absolutely love if you subscribe to their channel down below. I know you will. I go on. You will. I know. Uh, don't be saying, ah, you are. Of course you are. Just down below. <laughs>